in this video i'm going to discuss what how to display third largest element in an array using one loop so and here this is the code that i already written so by using this for code we can find add your first largest element from an array so suppose if we enter at a 8 9 56 54 3 and your third largest element is 9 is there so if I execute this code, at your third highest number, 9 itself is blank. So at here, this code that I pasted here. So now I'm going to explain this code. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method and here after that coincide. So at here that I passed, that I've taken it is a tag array variable, name is A. And here this element that I passed 8, 9, 56, 54, and 3. Now here after control comes to test and here A. So at here test method. So at here compiler that I start searching where is the test method in the code. So here after control comes to this point and here that find test method. And here A. So A has this all values 8, 9, 56, 54, 9, 3. So it all values go to A over R. So there is the a double r and it has this all element. Now here after that coincide, so I have max one equal to int dot mean value. So minimum value of integer that go to max one, max two and max three. If you like to know how to find out minimum value of integer, so I have just write console dot write int dot mean. When you execute this code, so you can find the minimum value of integer. So it's so taking time. Now here after the next thing is so after that add here a over r value one by one that go to i. So there is i. So here let's write at this point i. Okay. So a over r. So a over r value that is 8, 9, 56, 54, 3. So first time add here 8 that go to add here i. Now here after that coincide. So add here i value is now add here 8. And that's it. 8 greater than max 1. So max 1 add here this negative value. So obviously positive value is greater than negative. So this condition add here true. So one more thing, here you can see this is the add here a dot mean value. Now here after, so add here this condition is true that coincide. So add here max 2 value is now go to max 1. So max 2 add here this all value go to max 1. So any chances max 1 value go to max 2. So max 1 value go to, sorry, max 2 value go to max 3. So max 2 value is equal to max 3, no any chances. And here max 1 value go to max 2, so no any chances. And here i value go to max 1, so i value is now 8. So this 8 value is now go to max 1, so max 1 value is now 8, it come. So at here if part 2, so this will not go to else part. Here after that go up and control comes to again this point. So a over r, the next value is now 9. So this 9 value go to i. So this time i value is now 9. And here that check 9 greater than max 1. So 9 greater than 8 condition is true. So again that go inside. So add here max 2 value go to max 3. So max 2, max 3, no any chances. Max 1 value go to max 2. So max 1 value is now 8. So 8 go to max 2. So this is now max 2 is now 8. Now here after i value go to max 1. So i value is now 9. So this 9 go to add here max 1. So here after that go up and next value of add here a over r is 56. So add here 56 go to i. So new value of i is now 56. And here check 56 greater than max 1. So 56 greater than 9, this condition is true, so that coincide, so at here max 2 value go to max 3, so max 2 value is now 8, 
8 go to max 3. And here max 1 value go to max 2. Max 1 value is now 9. This value go to max 2. And here i value go to 56. Sorry. Uh, i value is now 56. 56 go to max 1. So this is now at here 56. Now here after again if condition is true that not go to as count here after that go up. So this time or uh, this value is now 54. So i here to uh, 54. So 54 go to i. So new value of i is now 54. And here after that go inside. So i value at here 54 and maximum value at here 56. So this condition is not true, so that go to as if part and your i value is now at here 54 and max to value is now at here 9. So this condition is true, that go inside, so at here max to value go to max 3. So max to value is now 9, so that go to max 3. So at here this point 9 come and your i value go to max 2, so i is now 54. That go to max 2. So this is now at here 54. So i value is now 54. That go to max 2. So as if part 2. So that not going to change. Else part here after that go up. And this time at here 8 over half. This is at here 3. So this 3 go to i. So i the value of i is now 3. And here after that go inside. So at here 3 greater than max 1. So 3 greater than maximum, so 3 greater than 56, so this condition is not true. So this not go to a part here as if, so 3 greater than max 2, so 3 greater than 54, it's also not true. So this will go to as if part here, 3 greater than max 3, so max 3, it's also not true. So here, it's not true, now here after the next thing is, so there is no any value inside the array. So at here for each part that has struck. Now here after control comes to this point, console dot write. So at here third highest number max three. So max three is now at here nine. So at here the output display third highest number column space at here nine. Now here this part has been over. Now control back to this point. Paste this part has been done. So at your console dot trade line, so you take one input from keyboard and terminate the output. So this is the way would work. So at here I am using only one for each tool and after doing this calculation we can find at your third highest number. So you can enter any kind of value and do the same trial. On steps of execution of this program, definitely you get the right answer. So I hope this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.